Hi Google Workspace fans, it's James here. In this video, I'm going to show you a hidden feature in Google Drive that allows you to hide a shared drive. So if you've got lots of shared drives in your company, there's a good chance some of those shared drives aren't being used anymore. They've got stale data in there, but you might want to keep hold of that data. It might be client-related data, it might be data that's just got sentimental reasons, or it could be for regulatory reasons that you need to keep hold of that data, but you just don't want to see that shared drive anymore. You want to reduce the list of shared drives you've got so it's easier to find the, one, the ones that you are actually using and hide those that you aren't using anymore and you can do that in Google Drive by using this feature. First off though there are two things you should do with a shared drive before you hide it. So hiding a shared drive is just hidden for you it's not hidden for anyone else. So if I go to shared drives in Google Drive here you'll see my shared drives and I can right click on any shared drive and I click hide a shared drive and that shared drive will disappear from my list of shared drives, but that's only for me, not for anyone else on my team who might be using that shared drive. So the first thing you should do, if you're a manager of a shared drive, is right click on the shared drive, go to um, view members, and then you can remove their access. Typically I've picked one that I haven't got a manager access to, so let's try this one here. So manage members. So this is listing the members are there that are there. So if I want them not to be able to do anything more on this shared drive, because I'm hiding it. So this, this shared drive has got old information in it. I don't want people adding, adding to it or editing files that are already in there. What you should do before you hide it from your view is you should either decide to uh, remove their access, so it just vanishes from their Google Drive as well, or knock them down to viewer level. If they're at viewer level, it means all they can do is see the content in the in the shared drive, but they can't actually add to it or they can't edit anything that's already in there. So that gives you control because when you hide a shared drive, you're likely to forget that it exists. And if you haven't locked out your team from accessing that shared drive, they might still be making changes to it that you're unaware of. So this is the way you retire a shared drive. That's what I call it, retiring anyway. You just go in there as your manager and you just remove the people who have access to that shared drive. So like I said, it vanishes from their shared drive or you knock their permission level down to viewer so they can only view the files. Once you've done that, as I just did before, just right click on a shared drive and click hide shared drive. Once you hide a shared drive, it vanishes from your list of shared drives. And if you ever wanna get it back, you just click on hidden shared drives in the top right hand corner. It will list the shared drives you've hidden. All you have to do is again, right click on it and then click unhide shared drive. It will disappear from this view. And if you go back to your uh, shared drives, it will reappear back in your list of shared drives. And whatever you do on here, so if you hide a shared drive, it will disappear from Drive for Desktop on your computer. That's the sync program that shows you your My Drive and Shared Drives in Finder on Mac or your File, file Explorer on Windows. So if you hide a shared drive here, it will also disappear locally on your computer. So that's how you hide and retire a shared drive. Really handy to know that, especially if you've got data that you want to keep hold of, but you just don't want to have to see it every day.